in the name of my ancestors. Peace five and always, and welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth. I am the gatekeeper of this internet ministry found on uh, Facebook. Make sure that you friend me on Facebook under the name Sheshaw Teno Beta. Daily Motion, Vimeo, MySpace. I am known here on the internet as the mighty, mighty, mighty Black Dragon or Angel Snub Nub 7. <laughs> your brother and hopefully your friend. Talik Ibn Ra. I would first like to say rest in peace, my little brother, Trayvon Martin. So I have my hoodie in respect and to show my alliance with all those who mourn the loss of this little brother and in fact all of us or all of those who have lost their lives on the shores of this wicked nation that we call the United States of America, those who are the descendants of slaves. I would like to send this message to my brothers and sisters, this black YouTube community. I would like to speak with you very briefly and short because I would really like for you to understand something. I'd like to begin like this. During and after slavery, the slave master or the Caucasian, the racist Caucasian people after slavery, they monitor the activity of the slave or the newly freed so-called Negro or the black man and woman of this nation. In the early church, the early black Christians, when the slave masters forced this religion upon us, and after we began to embrace it, they had to make sure that even though we embrace this religion, they, they needed to make sure that it was having a certain type of effect because religion is designed to pacify, religion is designed to enslave the mind. So in order to make sure that this religion was having the effect that was desired in the early black church on all the slave plantations the white man or a representative of the white man some usually a mulatto slave would watch the church service and make sure all is well now Many of us don't like Christian teachings. Many of us reject Christian teachings. But what must be understood, even though religious teachings have been used to enslave the mind, even though religious teachings have been used to pacify that natural rebellion in every human being to fight against those who seek to harm your life, Religious teachings can also inspire you to fight against those who fight with you. And it produced during slavery the man we know of as Nat Turner. Nat Turner was a Christian preacher, but he was inspired by the Bible. And in accord to, to how it was translated to him, or how he interpreted the teachings of the Bible. It talked to him, telling him. In fact, 
He said that the angels in heaven talked to him and inspired him and directed him to rebel against these racist slave masters, rebel against these chains that was holding him hostage. And because he was inspired by the Bible, these biblical teachings, Nat Turner rose up to become or have the greatest slave revolt in this nation's history. And they don't like to talk about that a lot because they fear that again. And when they see YouTube, listen to me, y'all. When they see YouTube, they see a whole lot of little Nat Turners running around. And it causes them fear. Do you know why? Even though we as the descendants of slaves born in America, do you know why? Even though we don't go to white channels, that Caucasian people, and I will even say some of these faceless Caucasian people are government agents or even working for YouTube itself. They come on our pages to see what we talking about like they always have done since slavery. If you don't know your history, if you don't know what happened in the past, then you don't know what's going on in the present and you don't know what's happening or will happen in the future. This is why they don't want black folks, so-called black people, the descendants of slaves. That's why they always tell us Forget the past. First of all, how can you forget a past you don't know nothing about? They don't want us to know our history to begin with. So how are we going to forget the past when we never had a past? We have to learn the past. They don't want you to learn the past because you will see really how evil and wicked that we've been treated in this nation. The reality of it, we keep getting spoon-fed these watered-down versions of history. They don't want you to cry for yourself. They don't want you to pout for yourself. But they don't mind you crying for a Jewish Holocaust or some other tragedy as when it comes to them. But when it comes to us and our pain and suffering in America, don't shed tears for Emmett Till. Don't shed no tears for Trayvon Martin or Sean Bell or even yourself because I'm very sure some of y'all have lost jobs because you're black. Some of y'all have been beat up because you're black. You've been pulled over falsely by some cop because you're black. What about you? We as individuals have suffered. We've suffered personal tragedy just because of the color of our skin. So forget the past. Don't think about it. It'll be all right. It ain't been all right for 400 years. So in 2012, they come on YouTube, targeting, seeking out the strongest voices in YouTube land to try to stop you from talking. So here I am, the Black Dragon, 50, 50 channels destroyed because Many were listening to my voice. Not only the descendants of slaves in America, but many white people, Asians, Africans, all over the world listen to Angel Snub Nub 7. So I'm very dangerous because I'm starting an uprising, not just among those who are called black, but among the whole entire world against the wicked, the evildoers, and those who are on top. Become fearful when you're trying to get those on the lower plane to rise up and rebel. So just like back in slavery, they would lynch the strong uh, black people like Matt Turner. Lynch you. Terrorize you. Try to make you silent. Shut your mouth, Negro. False flagging and the termination of your channels when you know, they know we are not talking hate speech. 
But what it is, we are gathering together, talking amongst enough, uh, one another, sharing information like we were doing back in slavery and, and during Jim Crow. If we talk among one another, then they just naturally feel because they have a guilt complex. They believe that we're talking against them when we are talking about working on ourselves, building upon ourselves, doing what we need to do to build our communities, strengthen our families. But they are so paranoid because of the dirt they have done. So false flagging and the termination of black YouTube channels is a form of cyber lynching, cyber terrorism. They continue, but they say they are not like their fathers. We are different. We've changed. No, you have not changed. You're doing the same thing. But I want to say in my conclusion on this particular video, to you, my wonderful and beautiful black YouTube community, whether you agree with me or not, I don't care. We make a serious mistake waiting on some Messiah or waiting on some God or waiting on some specific individual it is you and i'm telling you it is us who are the saviors of humanity it is us who are the catalysts to bring humanity if it if it or if we are really going to go into what they call in religion heaven we are the ones who are going to guide everybody in that direction those who are the descendants of slaves born in America, it's us. It is incredible wisdom on YouTube. You are so smart, black YouTube community. You are so wise. The time for old leadership, the NAACP, the Nation of Islam, the Hebrew Israelite Nation, all these old ideas and concepts, let them go. Reject all of it. We who are coming up, the new, new ideas, new concepts, new creativity. Because the creation is talking to a, a brand new type of mindset. We are not like those of old. And this is what scares the Caucasian people, these races. We do not fear them like our parents. We don't fear them. And we are willing to do what's necessary in order to get this job done. But it, gives, it begins with information. And they fear our information. They fear our wisdom. Our. The key word is our. Not the reality's temple. It's so much that we have to offer on different levels. And since our people are on different levels, all of us are needed. So we need to mirror each other's videos. Help one another. You and I, we are the leaders. We are the leaders. Us, us is, we are the leaders. I'm not going to, my grammar, who cares about my grammar? This is about us, brothers and sisters. The black YouTube community is the strongest, most wisest, the most knowledgeable that generation we've ever produced. They fear our brain power. So let us get over emotion and begin to think more clearly because we're rising to the top. It's you. It's me. I don't care. I mirror everybody's video, whether I like you or not. I'm just one person. But if all of us mirror everybody else's videos, help one another. Support one another. Whether you like me or not, just do it. You upsetting the enemy. Oh, man. You are so beautiful. You are so powerful. You have no idea, brothers and sisters, this black YouTube community. It is, it is not no surprise. It is not no shock that they are terminating black channels. You are so dangerous, and you don't even know it. Let us stop being silly and let us really get on the bandwagon and go after our people and change this condition once and for all. Change our horrid condition and we will change the world.
This your brother Talik Ibn Ra, the Black Dragon. This was, it is. Jot down your comments. The Reality's Temple on Earth.